Warm greetings to all of you. I'm K. Shrija. I'm going to narrate a story titled Living Free. This story is about a little girl named Parul who desires to have a pet. Does she really have a pet? Do you want to know that? Well, then, your ears. Living Free. Let's dive into the days. Parul loved visiting her grandma's home. So, every summer vacation, she used to go to her grandma's house. As soon as she reached the home, she knocked on the door. Grandma slowly came and answered the door. And then, as soon as grandma opened the door, father jumped inside. And then, grandma smiled at father and she closed the door. That evening, Grandma took Parul to the beach. There she enjoyed the evening sun and she also collected few shells in her sand bucket. The next evening, they both were gazing at the beautiful orange sun. When both of them heard, and then Parul jumped the other side and pointed towards the sand bucket saying to Grandma, Grandma, isn't that sound coming from the sand bucket, I mean, the seashells we collected yesterday? And then Grandma told Parul, Oh dear, I think the hermit crabs have already found their home to the seashells you collected yesterday before you could find them. And then immediately Parul crushed and sat beside her, I mean, her sand bucket. First, she could only see the seashells. But then she saw claws and a big red body popping out. She saw that they were hermit crabs. And they walked around one place. Then Parul bounced like a ball, saying, I have to get Grandma asked. Are you sure, dear? I'm sure, I'm sure. I'll take good care of them. And then before Grandma could say anything, Farrell zoomed into the house and returned with a big box and a lid. First, she put some sand inside it and then sprinkled a little water. And finally, kept some tiny, tiny stones in it so that she could give the hermit crabs the perfect beach atmosphere. Then Grandma made few holes on the lid so that the hermit crabs could breathe. And then Parul put the hermit crabs inside gently one by one and closed the lid. She kept the box inside her room. She had her supper and went to sleep. But Parul wouldn't sleep at all. She told this way and that. But she kept on hearing scratch, scratch. And then Farrell looked at the box and then thought to herself, I think the hermit crabs are feeling a little lot inside the box. And then she took the box and went outside her room. She saw that Grandma hadn't slept yet. She was reading a book. As soon as she saw Farrell, she closed the book and kept it. And then Farrell asked Grandma, Grandma, can you please take me to the beach? And then Grandma asked Parul, why do you want to go to the beach at this hour of the night? And then Parul replied, Grandma, I think the hermit crabs are feeling a little lost inside this box, so I want to leave them back to the beach. Can you please take me? And then Grandma smiled at Parul and then said, that's the best idea, dear. Never love living things. Saying so, she held Parul's hand and took her to the beach. There, she could see the banana-shaped moon in the sky, along with some shiny stars. And she could also see their reflections in the water. Wow, said Parul. And as she said that, a gush of wind brushed past her face. And then 
she could also see that a coconut tree was bending this way. And the other was bending this way. Grandma, Grandma, look at that. Doesn't it look like an arm? Asked Parul, Grandma's mind. And then, and then Parul opened the box and let the crabs in. The crabs jumped with joy. Yay, they said. And Parul said, I said to Grandma, Grandma, I think this is why the hermit crabs don't want to eat their each. And Grandma smiled again. From that day on, little Parul realized that living things should never be caged or boxed. Come on, audience, let's all do the crab pose to see how the crabs felt. So let's all jump like a crab so that we can also feel how the crabs felt when we were released out of the box. Yay! 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 Thank you for your cooperation.